I suppose it's become a thing now to just film videos while I'm in my bed about to fall asleep. Um, sorry. I just forget a lot. This, this August thing is much harder than the April thing, and I'm not sure why. Um, I think it's because my life has a much less established, like, <sighs> routine to things. And, like, they're starting to be a routine again, but I'm forgetting about it. Um. But, yeah, I went and saw Austin Land today with Emma, and Emma is wonderful. Emma's my friend. And Austin Land was amazing. Uh, amazing. And I've been, like, I've been building this movie up in my head for, like, two years since, since, uh, summer before my sophomore year, and I was on Shannon Hale's blog, and she was like, oh yeah, we're in England right now, filming Austin Land, it's so cool, woohoo, and I was like, what? So I went, and I bought the book, and I read the book, and I was like, hey, this book is fantastic, like, it's one of those books that I had to, like, stop reading for a couple of minutes, and just sit there, and just, like, squirm with happiness, because it's so adorable, um, and then I saw the movie, and it lived up to all of the expectations that I had for it. Like, um, Jennifer Coolidge, who was in it, she was Paulette in Lee Levon in that movie. She was hilarious. She was absolutely hilarious. Everything that came out of her mouth was just like, <laughs> was so funny. And, 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 Brett. What's his face from Flight of the Concords was gorgeous and 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 exactly how that character should be and so it was JJ Field J J Field I would see pictures like of like Austin Land stuff because um, I was like following their Tumblr and. And, like, I just, like, borderline stopped that movie. And I, so I see pictures of him, and I was like, you know, I guess he's okay. You know, he'll probably be okay for the part or whatever. No, he was perfect. He was perfect. And he's one of those people who, like, you don't really notice it, but, um, he's, like, less photogenic, I think. And, like, when he's just, like, not moving, and he's just, like, staring and being all attractive in his pictures or whatever, like, he's pretty... But then he looks so much better when he's not, when he's like, you know, moving and you can see him being alive and interacting with the universe. And it was so what I, I just, every single second was perfect. There was like maybe two or three things that I would change. And that's not very many things for somebody who has read the book and who loved the book. And it was so good. And it was so well written. And it was really pretty, the, like, there was lots of, like, colors, and the cinematography, and and the costumes, and the set, and, and it was filmed in this, like, beautiful place, and it was so perfect, and it was so perfect. Go see it. Go see it. If you live in Salt Lake, it's playing at the Broadway right now, if you don't. Google the movie, and there will be a list of when it opens and what theaters it's playing at, and all of that, so that you can see it. Do it. I think I tried to wink and I just blinked, but whatever, TTFN.